years ago, there was millions of boys. That was our economy, and we lived wherever the boys in Rome. The colonizers wanted the land that was occupied by our First Nations peoples. The way to attack us was to, uh, to slaughter the bison. Bison almost became extinct in the 1880s, from 30 million to less than a thousand. Our elders told us that we have to bring back the bison because we are in bad social conditions. If we bring back the bison, all our issues or problems will gradually go away. After all this time, here we are. When people come here, we have uh, statues of bison and stories of bison. Visitors always say, well, where are the bison? Where are the real bison? That is what uh, was missing all these years, the live ones, you know? <laughs> and we, we say, well, they're coming, <laughs> you know? But now we can say, oh, they're here. This was always bison country here. Everything was geared for bison for over 6,000 years here in the park. And so this is kind of coming home. That's sort of the way I see it. So I think it'll be just a continuation of, uh, of I think, our dream in one, one scheme that someday we will bring back the bison. We wanted bison from the very beginning, but it was a matter of resources. Um, this is a big change for us. We are interested in making our animals a conservation herd, and this means animals that are as genetically pure plains bison as possible, as close as we can get to 200 years ago. We want these animals foraging on natural grass. The grasslands have been disrupted. They're the most endangered biome in North America. We are, though, churning a lot of what were formerly agricultural lands back to natural grasslands. The Great Plains, the grasslands, the history of what happened with First Nations people, the bison, their near extinction is all intertwined. It's going to be magnificent because of what our goals are, how important history is to this and tradition and spirituality. Bison is a very spiritual animal and we're very spiritual people. We still call our, the bison our relatives, you know, our brothers, our sisters. My hope is that by bringing back the bison that kind of bring back those teachings, those teachings back to our people, that the, our children would learn the history of the bison, the history of our people, so that, you know, that they would uh, be proud people, they have a, a foundation, and also go back to the spiritual ways, the ceremonies, and that they can go forward. That's our future.